a little better day today as I leave the meadows. Uh, obviously, very in, uh, interested to see what happens tonight with uh, Ready for Landing, Collector, and Stay Special. But a pretty good start to the day. I said to everybody, you know, uh, expectations were strong today. Still got to get it going though, and uh, time is on my side. Was very very good. You know, I, I I'm all. This guy is in that category where not really in a hurry. He's supposed to be able to overpower those horses, but he still has to go and do it. You know, he's got his whole life in front of him, and obviously our expectations for time is on my side are immense. Not ideal starting him in January, but I did want to get him some experience and get him going. Uh, I said to Tim, if he races that good a couple more times, we'll give him three weeks off, maybe four weeks off. Nah, probably three weeks off and, and aim for starting to get him ready for his stake season. So, um, happy with him today. You know, you can put his nose right on the gate. He does nothing wrong, but I didn't want to get in a position where I'm one to five on the rail and nobody wants to leave out because I didn't want him on the front. And I didn't want to be in a position where no one leaves out into me. So I just left him off the gate. I just didn't want to get myself in the, you know, in the three hole and locked in. I, four was fine. It was fine to sit there. I'm sitting right behind on paper and on the program. One of the only two horses that really can even remotely pace with, with time. Um, in, in my mind, anyway, going by the information that I have, same as everybody else. So I really wasn't in a hurry. I got a little scare around the last turn, you know. Time is on my side, runs in a little bit, kind of stalls a bit in the turns. So when Dave got the jump on me, I'm like, man, that sucks. I'm gonna get beat in here. Uh, and he really bailed me out. He paced his ass off from the head of the stretch to the wire and really finished up strong. Really impressed with what he did today. You know, this obviously you guys know the story here. This is this is Forever Boy's brother. Uh, by Captain Crunch. Now that Captain Crunch just didn't shine in the two-year-old season. So you're left saying, you know, maybe he's just a horse. And maybe he still is just a horse. That was a hell of a mile today. Last half in 56 and a bit. Last quarter in 28 and 1, but I really didn't get him in gear until we came out of the turn. So what was his last eighth? Pretty good last eighth. Easy now. Um, really, so really, really happy with time is on my side, what he's done, how he's done it, and how he went about his work uh, today. Very professional. For a young horse, he's got some starts, but it's not like he has a, you know, a, a whole resume to, to fall back on. He's got what three, four, five starts, but it's perfect today. Didn't do a thing wrong and finished the race with a bang. Really happy with him today. Now Carter Michael Dio, uh, this guy's starting to get under my skin a little bit. If you notice, going up to the gate, he kind of fell off the gate. I think he was trying to bait me into chasing him off the car when he would have made a break. And if he keeps this up, he's going to be a gelding. I can assure you of that. Coming off the car, he fell off. You know, and, and if you watch all the way around the first turn, he's throwing his head. He's just angry. I have a snake cord in his mouth, and he doesn't like it. And honestly, it wasn't up for discussion. It, was, it wasn't a, a democratic uh, uh, race. You'll do as you're asked, and that's that. And when it came to Carter Michael Dio, um, you know, he, he just... He started, as I said, you know, that was just pure ignorance around the first turn. Then once I got him trotting, then he wanted to get at them, right? Down the back stretch, he took a big run at the leader. Hung out a little bit, but that was a big last half and big last quarter for him. I, I'm not disappointed with the latter part of the race, but I am disappointed with his attitude going up to the gate. And if he happens to throw a little break in next week or the week after, uh, he'll be immediately castrated. I can assure you of that. So Carter Michael Dio, I protected him for two years. I've protected his manhood for two years, and there'll be no more protecting it. Either he'll come forward and behave himself, or he'll end up uh, castrated. It's really his his uh, mental state right now is is making it very difficult. Now imagine if two horses didn't make a break today. I'm getting away seventh. Uh, what happens if I draw the three hole? Put his nose put his nose right on the gate, which he can do. And what? Make a break leaving? He likely will get a chance to race next week if he draws decent. And if he and if he throws a break in, there'll be no need for a long video discussing how frustrated I am. I can assure you right now, a week in advance, he will be castrated immediately upon him doing that. Now we've Dominic's been super patient with this guy, did a tremendous job getting him back. The speed is there. The horse is there. He's a good horse. But he needs to focus on the job at hand. 
and um, you know that's that's where we're at with him. Lameness wise, he was perfect day. I love the way he drove. I love the way he did his work in the latter part of the race. But that first part of the race can't be dawdling. You have to be malleable. You have to be flexible. And right now, it's float off the gate, let him settle down, and get him underway. There's no need for that. This horse should be, you know, if you want to leave, leave a little bit. If you don't, take him off the gate. He should be much more uh, polished and much more flexible than he is right now. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But we will likely draw decent next week. We will likely put him in a position off the gate to race. And if he makes a break or acts up, there is no two ways about it. He will be castrated immediately following that race. So uh, both horses raced well today. Again, I wasn't disappointed uh, in any way with, with Carter Michael Dio's output. Just that, that first part of the race is just unacceptable. And, and that's that's that. So eagerly awaiting our horses from tonight. Man, I can't wait to see Ready for Landing Race. And uh, Collector, he's been knocking on the door. Very interested to see how State Special is going to behave tonight. Now a little special uh, announcement for you guys. Tomorrow we will be droning. I won't be there. But Saturday, Curtis could not drone. It was too cold out and he was going to be away. He has a daughter that's in a, a cheer cheer competition that he had to take her to uh, he had to take her to so family first he could not drone on Saturday he did say that he could do it tomorrow there is a little bit of snow coming not like there is here they already cancelled the races tomorrow in the meadows and they're going to race them on Saturday so that's how much snow is expected for here tomorrow Northfield also tons of snow so that may actually keep us out of Canada for the weekend um, I was still torn what I was going to do and it's still going to take some polishing if there's enough snow to keep us out of Canada there's an argument to be made there's enough snow to keep us out of Michigan and I was asking Amy if she wanted to go to the awards banquet with uh, for Sunset Acres Girl but I don't know if we're going to get there I hope all our clients are there and come out in droves should be a lot of fun for the stable um, but I don't know if I can get there that will all depend on what falls out of the sky in the next 24 hours um we did train some horses today, just kind of a impromptu training session of the babies. I was thoroughly impressed with the horses I went with. Now, I'll tell you why. It wasn't like we were in sets. I just went. Uh, there was two of us went. LT Troubadour was great today. No tractors around. He was so good today. Man, he's got such a beautiful, slick gait for a giant animal. It is really... Uh, the, I'm trying to think of the horse he reminds me of. Uh, for those of you that have been in with us for a long time... We had a beautiful horse and a big white blaze, just like LT Troubadour, and had a slick gait at two. He won his first sire stake and got injured and just never was able to pick himself up after that. His name was uh, Lima's son, Lima's son. This guy reminds me of him. Slick gait. Even stronger than, than, than Lima. Lima was when he was... Uh, I know it's Lima. I've just always called him Lima, sir. Um, even stronger than he was at two. And uh, obviously, the being terrified of everything, that's going to take time to, to uh, polish him up. But man, what a, what a beautiful colt on the track. Him and she sits at the bar train great today. Uh, who else did I go with today? I went with Dancing by Myself. We made some changes to him. Still a little tricky to get him going at the start, which is weird. But man, when he's trotting, he is a beautiful horse. He was very good this morning also. Uh, I did train Steel Cowboy for my partners on Steel Cowboy. He was okay. I went a mile and 220 and a mile and a half. He was good. It's going to take a lot of work for this guy. So he's a good six weeks out still. Uh, but he trained well. Now, everything that didn't train today is going to train tomorrow again. How much snow is going to fall? Are we going to be able to train? I don't know. We'd like to get a little workout into them. This is a, a, I, I was going to use the word unorthodox, but it's not. Uh, we're trying to play the hand we're dealt, right? We're trying to work with Mother Nature to get our horses trained. We couldn't train. It was too cold to train in the middle of the week. Today would have been great, but I thought it was supposed to be even colder than it was today. So she caught me off guard again, uh, and hopefully we can get them all trained Friday. I will tell you this. It looks like a Monday training session for us. Tuesday, tons of rain. Wednesday, Thursday, an absolute horrible week next week coming if the weather network is correct. So looks like Monday, maybe back Friday or Saturday next week. Just not nice weather on the way. So let's focus on today. Two in the books, a first and a second, which was good. Uh, good luck to all my partners with the three that are racing tonight. Take care.